Hello subscribers and unsubscribers and welcome to mission one. One thing I forgot to go and mention in part zero for this is that one rule that will be universal throughout all of these series and will never change is the rule that I have three lives in total for the first two missions. And that is of course just because I don't want these, I don't want this series to essentially ever end up in a situation where it is a single episode. It's not exactly a great series, so we're going to go and always have that rule so that Pretty much the series will always be at least three episodes. Even if those three episodes are me essentially doing the exact same mission again and again and hopefully succeeding um, each time. So our mission, escort, we are to escort some B-17Es of the 337th Bomb Squadron of the 96th Bomb Group to St. Lo. In the C6, down here is our actual bombing objective. Uh, let's see, some skirmishing continues in the area around English Beach. H10, I want to note that that is not a beach. And it's close to it, but that's not the beach. The beach is down here. Um, let's see, that is, yeah, H10. It is, I didn't, I forgot to go and actually check my, check the calendar, but I think August 16th. I think August comes before September, and I know September is the ninth month of the year. This is what happens when you don't really bother looking at your calendar most of the time. To bother remembering this. Yeah, that looks like about right. So, yeah, August 16th. 1942. 7 o'clock in the morning because I'm pretty sure they use military time here to note the time. So if I ever end up with a night mission, it'll probably be um, late at night. So it'll probably say something like 2300 hours, for example. Uh, wind clear, or weather clear. Wind at 0.0, .0 kilometers an hour, 14, at 14 degrees. I don't really understand that personally. English airfield, however, when I tried to fly the flew this the first time and had issues primarily with FPS and my uh, difficulty settings actually being just way off because I forgot to tick certain options. You don't actually have to take off. You do ever have to land, but you don't have to take off. Right now, at least. Maybe later, if we capture an airfield down here, we may get moved down there and then have to actually take off. But that depends. So, yeah, flying a P-39 D-2 Aero Cobra, trains at altitude of 13,124 feet. I would have preferred if they put in meters. And I want to go ahead and check this. It should be the same. Yep, we got to hold out until, what, June 1st, 1944, I think. I don't know. Actually, yeah, I really don't know. Um, cause I, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're doing day, month, year. Because that's the only way this would make sense. And I would imagine that they would keep that universal throughout any and all date listings. So, the first of the sixth month of the year, 1944. Which I don't expect to live that long, honestly. Uh, cause we're probably gonna be getting a mission practically every day. Not once a month. Maybe once a week if we don't get one once a day. So that's quite a long time that we have to survive. So I find it highly doubtful that we'll survive that long. Um, and we're, Especially since we're fighting BF-109s, which I want to note, I'm not good at fighting, period. I actually do not really want people to select this one personally. I just listed it because it was one of the options. So hoping people wouldn't choose it but one person chose it. In fact, the only person who chose, chose it. So, we will be flying against BF-109s. I don't expect this to end well, but let's see how well it turns out. Maybe I'll actually survive throughout the entire thing, and if I do, I'll consider it a miracle. But let's go ahead and fly. 
because I don't think I can change my armor. Uh, well, I've get a I get a drop tank. That that's cool and all right. Not really. It's gonna be annoying. It's dead weight on my plane, in my opinion. But it's kind of a requirement, I think, for this plane to really be able to do anything. And I can drop it if I ever need to. But I don't foresee that turning out well for me. So, autopilot on. Look at all that flack that will absolutely massacre me if given the opportunity. And I kind of foresee it massacring me. I'm sorry. Bit of a pessimist when it comes to certain things here. So I don't see this ending well for me. There looks like there's a single airfield around Kane, Con, whatever it's called. That's basically the only airfield that, uh, if by some miracle we manage to capture, we'll probably get moved there. And then I'll have to take off and landing. Oh, uh, looks like there's one over here as well by whatever this is. I can't tell. There's two airfields there, actually. Oh, uh, there's also one over here by Le Havre. Havre? So if we take that ever, or that, or we manage to take Kane, Kong, whatever, uh, got a couple of potential airfields. I still don't foresee this ending well for me. Hello, little friend. Good to see you guys. So glad you decided to join us. Over. Uh, I didn't really want to join you guys, honestly. I just want to note that real quick. If I was given the opportunity... To avoid joining them, I would have. So, because there's less planes, I wonder how this is going to turn out for me. So, I guess while we wait to get there, I'll note a couple of things. This series will probably be finished by the time this happens, realistically speaking, because I'll probably die long before. Uh, however, since Microsoft is releasing Windows 10 in summer, apparently, in 190 countries, the U.S. is probably one of those. I'd be kind of shocked if it wasn't. Uh, that's going to potentially screw up some of my uh, playthroughs that I'm doing. I don't expect it to affect this series, because like I said, I will probably be dead long before. Um... But, nonetheless, I just wanted to note that. So that, like I said, could potentially affect some series, but this series will probably be long finished before then. So that'll just lead to the series essentially getting put, not necessarily on hold, but a bit delayed. We're not even taking the frickin' path. Oh my god. <sighs> the bombers aren't following the path that we're supposed to essentially escort them by. Which I'm glad, because it puts us over less flak, which increases our chances of survival quite a bit. However, that could screw up the game a bit. Depending on if the game is able to essentially take that into account, and I would hope it does. So it looks like we got eight... Uh, B-17Es of the, what was it, 337th Bomb Squadron, 39th Bomb Group, or something like that. Uh, also, let's check this real quick. The airspeed does not look like it is in kilometers per hour. I say that because if you look in the bottom left-hand corner where my speed is listing, it's saying 350 kilometers an hour. However, when I look at the airspeed here, it's looking at probably about 220. So it's probably miles per hour or something like that. Well, pretty much miles per hour is about the only thing it could be, really. So we're going to be flying over less flak. I would. Oh, this is gonna. Yeah, we're gonna get all this radio chatter. I want to note that. So, <laughs> our radio is gonna be pretty much blowing up in the near future because of this over here. These guys have fighters on them. I can assume, and 
probably BF-109 since that's Germany's primary aircraft. Which BF-109? I don't know. So I can't say. Those are probably fighters. Those are probably fighters. Those might be bombers. Those are probably fighters, and those are probably fighters. I think these guys are bombers. Uh, no, that's not bomber maneuverability. Those can't be bombers. They have to be fighters then. So, reinforcements being sent down to this group over here. That's going to be dead long before reinforcements arrive. Let's go ahead and fast forward. My problem with the radio blowing up is that it makes it very difficult for me to tell whether or not any of this is relevant information for me. Fighters 4 o'clock is not relevant for me because at least there are none listed here. Just a bunch of flak that's going to massacre me if given the opportunity. Somebody drops their bombs. Maybe these guys? Maybe they're bombers. I guess they could be. I kind of wish the game would note a difference between bombers and fighters on the map here, so you could actually tell, at least for friendlies. But it doesn't. So, I'm left to guess. Oh, I think we passed some of our bombers. It's not good. We got some off to our side over there. I think we've got some back there behind us that we pass. So those ones behind us are kind of screwed if they get attacked by fighters that are not in this area. So they're perfectly safe. And in fact, we could, technically speaking, ditch escorting these guys and fly over here to Kane or Khan, whatever, and help these guys out. I'd rather not do that. But technically speaking, we could, if given the A-OK -okay by um, command to do so. Because there are no fighters here. In fact, there's not even an airfield over here. So they were pretty much guaranteed to be safe so long as they didn't take the path that we were designated to escort them along. So, this is going to be one of those Calm Before the Storm missions, I think. Which could be good, could be bad. It depends on exactly how bad the storm is. Also, we're going to have a lot of dead pilots and a lot of captured pilots. I'm calling it now. Oh, it looks like... That red leader is British, I think. These guys are dead. They're out. This guy's going down, I think. Just... Ah, these guys are gone for... Yep, that guy just went down. He might have bailed. In which case, he's probably captured. Which would be best for him, because he can... But theoretically, I don't think it's possible for us to really free people um, in this game. But in real life, he could potentially get rescued once we capture whatever place he's essentially kept in. Nope, someone dropped their bombs. Not, that shouldn't be our guys. Our guys are still a bit too far off from target. Oh, I think I'm falling behind my guys. Yeah, a little bit. Should get better now because we're turning. And I want to note real quick that if autopilot ever kills me, I'm not going to count that death at all. 
because that is by no means my fault. So if autopilot rams me into the ground, which shouldn't be an issue here because the ground is fairly flat, and we're also flying really high. But if there were, if we were flying lower and there were mount, and it was mountainous terrain, autopilot would probably kill me. And that's a situation where I would go and not count that death at all, because that just doesn't seem right to me. Because autopilot, it does sometimes seem to go out of its way to try to kill you, in my opinion. Here's the flak. I think all of our bombers will be safe, though. One second. And never mind, because that was not anything of importance. So, yeah, I don't really have anything to say, because this is just a very calm mission. It's nothing for me to do. Did our guys drop their bombs? They should have. I don't... I just see people saying target on fire, direct hit, target destroyed. I guess those are ours. There's one less of these AA symbols here, so... Yeah, they took out some of the AA. They didn't take out all of it, which I would have preferred. But I don't... But I guess that wouldn't have meant much. I wonder how uh, we're going to get... How uh, the map is actually going to get pushed uh, around. Because we lost a lot of fighters. Or a lot of aircraft. Oh, I don't like that path. I don't like that path. Okay. Well, it might actually not be too bad because these guys are going to be flying out to the middle of the ocean because they're all chasing after this one guy. Uh, look at all that flak on the way. We got flak over here. We got flak over here. We got tons of flak over here. Well, not really tons, but a sizable number. But once we make it past essentially this island here, this little tiny island out there in the middle of nowhere, essentially, uh, it should be home free. But, oh, there we go. The map is finally updating to probably reflect that we went past all of these other checkpoints, essentially. Took it long enough, to be honest. So we got like one, I think just one. Looks like it's just one. We got two over here. These guys are all, I think, bombers, and they're just GTA. Just trying to get out of here. And that guy is probably going to go down. These two are going to make it home. These guys are heading over here. Probably fighters to try to intercept these guys. Same with this group here. Attempting to intercept. That guy's as good as dead. These guys are coming back. They might be annoying. Depending on where they are in relation to us once we get up here. We'll probably encounter them. I don't I don't like this. I really don't. Oh, and look at that. That's depending on how far out these guys fly, this is gonna be an annoyance. Damn you game! You're trying to kill me, aren't you? You really are going out of your way, I think. And you realize you can't use autopilot to kill me because I'm flying at such a high altitude. So it says, okay, what's your best way to go and try to kill a player? Well we can go and send every single possible bomber or fighter that exists currently and essentially have it fly in some way shape and or form along the path that would get in the way of the player yes I'm looking at my phone because there's nothing going on right now that's not that bad of a deal actually I might just have to pick that up because of Windows 10 coming out when it is Has got the Samsung 850 Evo going for $70, 120 gig version. I think that's fine with me. But that also depends on exactly what Amazon's charging for theirs. And I kind of prefer Amazon's. 
because I have Prime with him. But it's like half off since I'm a student. Just one of our. Um. Yeah. Okay. This is going. If all of our missions are like this, this is not going to be the most interesting campaign. Because I don't really have anything to say. It, it helps when the game throws me a bone and actually gives me something essentially to do. But I got nothing to do right now. Just due to the game. Not throwing anything at me. Which is both good and bad. I don't like fighting BF-109, so that's a wonderful thing. However, it leads to very boring episodes, which is not exactly a great thing. Why is autopilot separating me from the rest of my group? It, it's like it wants me to die by some BF-109 that's not on my map that comes swooping down out of nowhere and one-shots me. I don't really think that's how it would occur, but honestly, you never know. Attention. However, granted, our bombers are going to be going ahead of us, so... If I'm lucky, the bombers will take the brunt of the force, and I can come in behind one of these BF-109s and shoot it down nice and good. Nice and good, right? That makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Uh, full four times speed up until the inevitable combat that we may or may not face. I don't like that game. I don't like that at all. Oh, somebody's been shot up by Flak, one of these BF-109. Er, wow, no, B-17s, thank you very much, game. And, never mind, we are not going to have to worry about the enemy. Well, spoke maybe a bit too soon. It depends on if the game decides that we need to go after these guys. And the game has decided we do not need to go after these guys. And thus we will not go Oh, but somebody's coming after us. Somebody's coming after us. Okie dokie. I'm not a fan, game. I am not a fan. Especially since I don't have a, a mirror or anything to look behind me. And I don't know what I'll do this guy. Oh, shit. Oh shit, okay. Screw you, game. Screw you. You tried to kill me. <laughs> I knew the game was going to do something like that. I was kind of hoping that guy was below me though, so that's why I wasn't really paying too much attention until he got like literally directly behind me. Because like, oh, I'll be fine. He's not going to come after me. Yeah, not nope, spoke a bit too soon. A bit too soon. Oh, good. Now we're flying over friendly waters. If I ever have to bail out, I should be safe. But we're about halfway to the airfield, I'm guessing. I don't really know because the airfield's not on the map. That does not make my job easy. Which is also going to make finding enemies that get on my tail a royal pain. Because I'm not going to be able to really see where they are anymore. Because we're off the map. But I think you can see one right there. And I may try to circle, put some sort of shape over it so you can actually see it. But it was a little dot back there. You can kind of see two things flying around back there. They might be BF-109s, both of them. One of them might be, and the other one might be a friendly aircraft. I don't think that's the case, however. I'm pretty sure I was sent to the last friendly to cross, besides our bombers that are somewhere back there. So, screw you, game. Screw you. I know you're trying to kill me, so please stop it. Oh, are we, like, just reaching the end of, like, the game's physical map or something? It kind of seems like it. Oh, okay, no, that's land. Where's the airfield exactly here? We're under attack, requesting immediate assistance. I'm afraid you're not going to get it, at least not from 
me because I don't have what is necessary to provide you with the support you need. And thus, I will not even attempt. Especially since I don't know who the hell it was calling for help. For all I know, it could be my wingman. Or my wing leader, I guess. In fact, where... Where is he? I don't... Okay, game, I don't like how you basically just said screw me because I've got no idea where this airfield is. Supposedly there's an airfield. I think the game just built a giant landmass and you're not actually expected to land on this campaign. Which is going to tell me that I pretty much have to land out here in the middle of nowhere and theoretically my character hitches a ride to the airfield and says, yeah, I left my plane back there because I couldn't find the airfield. Because I don't see one. There's not even cities. It's just a giant, empty landmass. What the hell kind of campaign is this? Do they seriously not expect people to land? Were people really expected to turn off or to turn on instant success for this campaign? Because that's what it kind of seems like to me. So that's what you were expected to do, was to turn on instant success. As if you're not actually expected to do this. So, this is a shitty campaign, I want to note. And if it's going to be like this, essentially until we capture an airfield, and even then potentially after we capture an airfield, I'm not going to enjoy this campaign in the slightest. Especially since we're already fighting BF109, so I don't particularly enjoy it already. So, I think I'm going to go and say screw it and find myself a nice little plot of land down here and just land there. Because there's no airfield. There's not even a grass runway. There's nothing. They said screw you. stick with my leader. There's nobody here at all. There's no cities. There's nothing. This is a giant empty landmass. Obviously I was supposed to turn on instant success for this campaign or something. So that I wouldn't have to go and do landings. Wonderful job, guys. Wonderful job. They forgot the runway. I should have known, known something was up when they didn't go and give me an actual freaking map that extended all the way to the runway. Or to the airfield. That should have told me something was wrong. Because I've never had that happen before. But then again, I haven't done too many campaigns. Oh, there we go. I'm seeing things, although it looks more like smoke. Um, why exactly? Are those just supposed to be trees? Is the airfield really that far out from land? What the hell? Yeah, those are trees. It's flying too high for the game to render any of this stuff. There has to be an airfield then somewhere. And the game just didn't render it at all because I was flying so damn high. But... There's just trees, there's no towns, nothing. And the map doesn't extend all the way to show me any airfields here. And it's so damn foggy. Oh god, this sucks. Oh, this is gonna make landing a joy. Well, at least this plane has actual automatic gears, which is not the same as the old plane I flew. And uh, because of the way this plane is designed, it should be pretty much impossible to flip. I 
think I ripped one of my gears off. I must have ripped one of my gears off. I don't recall what the button is to actually go into third person. I think it's F2. It is. Oh! Um. Where did I leave my tail? And yeah, I did lose one of my gears. Where did I leave my tail exactly? <laughs> um. Is that it over there? Pull up my map so you can actually maybe see an indicator. Is that it over there? I think that might be it. I don't know. That's something. Um. And there's my little cannon. Shooting just for the hell of it, really. Okay, so we can consider this, technically speaking, a mission complete. Our bombers dropped their bombs. We landed. A botch landing. That's probably going to be a standard thing for this entire series. No matter what plane I'm flying, I can see it now. Well, this plane it might get better if I ever get an actual airfield to land on. That's the most important thing is for me to have an airfield to land on. But whatever. Uh, I think I have to bail for this to work properly. So let's bail. Control E. Besides, this plane's pretty much screwed anyway. And... Player captured! Bullshit! Bullshit game. How could I get captured? I landed in what was obviously only possible to be the English, the British Isles. But apparently I was captured by some angry villagers or something that have decided to lock me in their basement because I'm an American and they didn't like that or I don't fucking know. Something. Somebody got pissed at me. I did something to piss somebody off before I got sent on this mission. And so they've decided to capture me and lock me in their basement. Giving me nothing but some bread and some water to keep me barely alive. So. Screw you game. And screw you, game. I should have just bailed out over the ocean. I would have been safe then. But I didn't bail out over the ocean because it would have made no sense for me to bail out over the ocean in a perfectly good plane because I figured there would be an airfield to land on. However, it turns out there is no airfield to land on. It turns out if you land on... If you just land out in the middle of nowhere, you get captured. What the hell? So I should have just bailed out in the middle of the ocean. I'd have been safer. I'd have been so much safer to bail out in the middle of the ocean. Because apparently some inexplicable fishing ship would have come along and say, Oh yeah, I was supposed to go and pick you up, wasn't I? And I'd get in his fishing boat and we'd sail off back to the British Isles where I'd hop on a um, truck or something and get taken back to the airfield and they say well what happened to your plan I'd say I had to bail out it was the only way for the mission to succeed ah <sighs> game why you do this so we're gonna consider this a mission success I'm gonna go ahead and basically just let autopilot fly me pretty much through this entire mission on a refly and we're not gonna count this as essentially a death or anything because it is technically speaking a mission success we completed our objective we escorted b-17s over here they destroyed the train uh that was apparently just parked there with aa on it for some inexplicable reason however apparently i pissed off of a, a, somebody 
Somebody was pissed at me. I pissed off a farmer. Something. <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to go and say mission su successful. So I have three lives come mission two. Autopilot will fly me through the entire refly. I will bail out over the in the middle of the ocean. And hopefully things will work out perfectly fine as they should have worked out this time around. So I will see you guys in mission two. I'm going to refly this mission. Or, well, autopilots are going to refly the mission for me. So until then, goodbye and farewell. When mission two comes out, whenever that will be, I don't know. Hopefully this won't be a permanent thing that I have to do. Because if it is, it's going to aggravate the hell out of me. But whatever. Let's go ahead and I will see you guys once mission two comes around. So until then, goodbye and farewell and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so this is me after <clears throat> we uh, got back. I have no idea. Okay, it looks like our B-49s did actually, or our B-17s actually did drop their bombs. And this time I bailed out over the ocean right over here. And hey, looky there. I'm not captured. And I bailed out and hitched a ride back to the airfield. So obviously I was supposed to bail out over the ocean and hitch a ride on a fishing boat back to the harbor so that I could get on a truck that will take me back to the airfield. Obviously that's the way this was supposed to work and I was doing it wrong the entire time. Not really. But we'll go ahead and apply this and uh, I'm not going to bother recording mission 2 right now I'm afraid. I just cannot do that after this terrible mission. So we're down a plane, however, because I had to bail out. Oh, hey, escort mission all the way down to there. Oh, and looky there. It's sending me out into the middle of nowhere again for landing. What am I going to do? Well, once we get across, oh, get near this place, I'm going to go and basically fly straight north until I'm in friendly waters, and then bail out again, and again, and again, because there is no English airfield. In fact, actually, I'm on the verge of saying, screw it, <laughs> and we're not going to do Normandy 1942, and we're going to actually skip to a little bit later campaign, because there is no English airfield. I need an English airfield to land at, otherwise I get captured. If I land on the ground, if I bail out, we lose a plane. Not exactly practical, if you ask me. I mean, let's check our roster. Apparently, we still actually, apparently, we surprisingly still have 16 uh, Aracobras, which is a damn miracle, if you ask me. So, yeah. Oh, and it looks like we'll probably be getting another mission every single day. So, this campaign is going to take forever. If we're going to be still getting a mission every single day. And if I have to bail out over the ocean every single time. Because it's probably going to be a while before we potentially manage to capture an airfield. And even then, there's no guarantee that we'll get transferred to said airfield. And it's not like I have the option of transferring myself to said airfield. So, yeah, if I have to do this for much longer, I'm going to do a time skip, essentially. And we will assume that my, somehow, magically, my character ended up in a situation where he did not have to go and fly any more missions or something. Because this campaign, I think, is going to kill me, essentially, just with how stupid it seems to be so far, with no actual airfield to land at, and whoever you land on the ground, where the airfield, realistically speaking, probably is, you get captured. Somehow. Miraculously, you get captured. So, that's going to be the end of it for this episode. I will see you guys, potentially, for uh, mission... Well, I will see you for mission two, however... Mission 3 ends up in a similar situation where I have to continuously do this. I'm just gonna... Basically, will ignore that this campaign ever existed. And skip to one of the slightly later ones. So that I can 
actually have an airfield to land at, realistically speaking, is the main thing. <laughs> Uh, but until Mission 2 comes out, I will see you guys next time, so goodbye.